Curry Martin, head coach, men's and women's tennis. Awesome. So, Coach, what are the protocols that center has in place for your sport? Well, for us, tennis, we're actually very fortunate that really, as a sport, we're already kind of social distance as it is. It's 78 feet apart for, for singles players, and then even in, in doubles, um, you know, most of the time we're never going to be within 10 feet, let alone six. So for us, it's been a little bit easier to navigate than maybe some of the other contact sports, but, but wearing the mask on the, on the, uh, while they're playing, um, a lot of that kind of thing, a little bit, uh, certainly, obviously, a little bit different than what they've gone through, but still a lot similar. To, uh, to the things that they've done in the past and just kind of add the mask to it. So I think for us, we've been very fortunate uh, relative to other sports with that. Alrighty, my second question is, what is your current daily routine? So for me personally, daily routine as a coach, um, so obviously uh, uh, kind of getting, getting here, recruitment is a really big thing. Uh, for us, obviously development of our student athletes as it is now, a little bit more difficult, um, you know, really to kind of get one-on-one -on -one settings with our kids being able to talk with them where they're comfortable um, uh, in settings and being able to have more and more one-on-one -on -one contact with them has been a little bit challenging, but uh, but still definitely part of uh, uh, part of the deal where we're really worried about their development. And then they're on the recruitment front. Um, the big thing for us is obviously how many people can we get to campus, we get get, get in touch with, one-on-one uh, -on -one settings, in-person settings, and that, that's really been one of the biggest challenges for us, uh, I believe, as coaches and recruiters is being able to share the center experience with them when it's not the same center experience that a lot of our kids that are here kind of quote signed up for and a lot of people really signed up for. There's nothing anybody can do about that, but it's just, again, one of the other challenges to kind of that we've had to navigate through. Gotcha. And then my third and final question is, how has COVID-19 affected you personally? Uh, for me, with a, with a young family, um, my wife is a teacher. Um, it's actually a Montessori teacher here in town. So the Montessori curriculum is a very hands-on curriculum for kids. And so for her kind of navigating through that and be able to help her with her schedule. And, um, and then, you know, with the hiring freeze here at Center, my assistant coach is now the assistant coach at, uh, at Ole Miss. Um, so getting, a, you know, bumping up to the SEC and that just kind of leaves us without an assistant. And so there, there's some things that, you know, while in a, in a normal time you would say, wow, that's, that's really tough, really tough. But again, it's just kind of being grateful for the things that we do have, um, you know, challenges that, that we have here for us. There are only two options. You know, we can, we can complain about it or we can figure out a way around it and try to use that to, to accelerate out of the situation that we have now. So, um, but for us, it's really just kind of, uh, enjoying more of the time that we've had and that's one thing COVID has actually kind of given us at least for me personally as a family um, my wife going through a cancer battle this summer um, going through that's actually her second one in, in the last few years so getting more family time with her and being able to kind of appreciate that and uh, be thankful for those times